I'm hiding in a wall again. We should really stop meeting like this. It's because it's an active PvP server. If uh, you are joining for the first time, there are the episodes in this little playthrough. We're on a PvP server. It's not official because do I need to say anything really? Um, so here we are, lying in a wall in the dun dungeon, in the jungle. If uh, you're not new to this channel, you'll understand. If you are new to this channel, words aren't my thing a lot of the time. But hey, we're here for the memes. A little bit of information. I um, do do PvP guides, so kind of given that an actual test. And I'll do an updated like beginner's guide to PvP as well, maybe with some advanced steps. There are some people because it's been a while and uh, there's some new techniques that I'm going to test out. I'm on my way to the jungle this time. If you watch my solo player PvE playthrough thing, it was my first time playing solo players. So it was super weird. I'm still doing that as well though. I um, went to Super Mario because this, yeah, there's so many different ways to play this game. I was a bit torn earlier. I don't know. This spot here is kind of a decent spot to, um, well, get named trolls sometimes when they want to behave and die. Okay, I'm gonna run away from him. I don't even know where I put my bedroll. Run over here and heal slightly. You also learn that fighting people, not my best skills, but fighting bases, way more skills. People are already like so thirsty in the chat. Did I even thunder him and get the thunder thing? When you stop. When you recipe though. It will thunder. Will thunder you. Excuse me sir. Stand the fuck still. I mean bleep. Don't swear. He's not usually there. That's a little weird. When mobs aren't in their correct spot, it's wildly unsettling to me. I don't know why I didn't bother finish killing that alligator of crocodile before. I also don't know why I call them alligators by default either, considering they are crocodiles and I am Australian and it makes no sense that I misname them. Like I said, words. 90% comedy, 10% information here. Yeah. There are people who do detailed guides on stuff. I give you the information you need. I might not hold your hand all the way through, but it's accurate enough, I'd say. <laughs> the information you need. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll kill the bird. No? Okay. Cool. So if this spot's taken, I have a couple of other spots in mind, but I'm thinking it's a nice central spot if you don't know where we are on the map. Right here. Near an obelisk. We'll have fun story on the way past. Uh, near an obelisk, it's near some sorcerer dudes. It's near a bunch of sorcerer dudes. I can get some armor and some XP here pretty well. Might even be a permanent base spot, at least a outpost. Yeah, well, someone is there, potentially. But whether they're in the other spot, it's a great deal of effort to get there if they are. Ooh, who this? It's a fresh wipe though, the cocks. Interesting. Well, I'll unpause in a moment. Well, folks, we seem to be in luck. Where I was looking for at least an outpost ends to be available. Now, it doesn't look like much, but there is some metal. There is a few trees. Rocks are kind of slim, but there's some rocks down the cliff. We got some bushes, we got some birds. Now, what you actually want to do is build your base somewhat here and eventually like clusterfuck and layer it and put stuff in that tree and stuff if you want to go big. For me, I'm going small, but still want to put my base here because it's like the most hid area. But then we jump down here and we got this little spot which I quite enjoy. Yeah, I'm going to build this up a little bit and I'll be right back with you. Also, I found a pony on my ride. I forgot to mention that. My ride? My run over. We yeah, built a little situation in my hole. What I got going on so far. We are about to head out. So I've um, opted to build myself in because that was easier. It is you. And because there's a door. In theory, I can still get in and out. If with a hatch, it's incredibly hard to place the hatch sometimes. 
Yeah, we're not going to go true ham with the harvesting of stuff yet because I would like to make a, um, a set of tools or something first because I haven't gone to Sepimaru to get the boxes to get some free tools. We'll do it the old fashioned way. But I do need some wood, extra wood and a few things to make a couple of other stuff in there like a bed would be cool. Hi, man. So we're going to get a little bit more of that. Harvesting's pretty decent XP on five times for sure. Ooh. Nothing too crazy and noticeable. Really run around these perimeters to see if anyone was built down there. I think so. Nothing I can see. Nothing too close. This though is not that close to anything. But since I get a map room, it's close to everything. Because <laughs> the obelisk is just like here and you can literally like run through and then back up. I'll show you the path at some point. Before we get too carried away, let's make me a bed. You gotta like kind of spam crouch in. Do I make beds in here still? Yes. Craft. Oh, I had enough wood. Well, now I have more wood. Probably repair those. Oh, rude. Let's see. Like right there. That shouldn't spawn me in the mesh because I've done this a million times before and it never has once spawned me in mesh. So if it does, well, kind of fix you. Fuck off. Okay, we have a bed. Ooh. It's a little tricky to get out of here sometimes, especially if you build it wrong. Basically, you don't want to build much there though. You want it to kind of be a little discreet, maybe build something over the top of it eventually. Make it look like something that's not worth blowing up as well, so you keep some shit. Or just like keep it a little bit small and not worth people's time coming up here. That bush looked way too much like someone out of the corner of my eye. I need to sit up a bit right off lean back and enjoy. Hopefully I get a bunch of stone here. Getting it. That's not enough stone. I gotta get that on the way back up because otherwise I'll be too cool. Saying that, I can't remember what the button is for this. Um, probably that would be nice. A couple more points in tolerance. Resources aren't too far away. Close to um, a bunch of sorcerers as well, which we will hopefully be predominantly getting my resources from. I barely even like need to make a better pick because I can just like easily. And as I have the obelisks. So obviously I can't fit any benches down there and I'll have to build a different little thing for the benches. I move my mic closer. There we go. Um, I build a little house for my benches. Thought you might want a bit of me. It's okay. My mighty daggers will take them on. But nothing. Almighty HP bird. And because I have this on me, I might as well get the Bella. Excuse you. And yeah, didn't mean to move slightly, so that was my bad. I don't want to get too full on other stuff. I'd prefer to get full on stone because it's scarcer up there. I didn't even finish getting that one. My goodness. Yeah, I'm gonna go collect the rest of these stones and then head back up there. I really enjoy this low stress of a raid only on the weekend thing. Uh, do mess with that. I've made myself a little house and a few little things to get me by. Let's not walk around with them on me. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get more iron anyway. How much is a Tinkerer's bench? Hmm. Well, didn't think that through. That'll stop him. <laughs> oh, I don't want it because then I have to heal it. Do I just take my shitty pick out again? I think I do. Okay. I like this. I like this a lot. I will take you with me because I don't have a better one. Yeah, make sure I built me in. Good. Good, good. That would be annoying. At least there's metal right here and there is more nodes in case I ever happen to run out with my solo self. Four times now is very beneficial though. It makes being solo kind of like a doable thing. Some um, fiber wouldn't be hateful. I might want to like sit up to my back will kill me. As you might be able to tell, I've been filming a few of these back to back. Because uh, if you sleep, you die in PvP. So I need to get a little thing going before I can rest. There's no guarantee that all of the series will have my face in it because a lot of the time I can't be bothered having my camera on. While I'm here, I might as well get some bushes. I need the bushes. There are lots of vines, but I don't have the ability to convert them yet. 
These people being there isn't the worst, but it is also kind of annoying. Oop, are these really my closest bushes? I could have sworn that was the closer one. I just want enough to build it all so I don't have to keep like destroying my things. No bad. No birds. Multiple of you. I can't be bothered though. Leave me alone while I my stones. I just thought that was someone maybe under the stone. Sometimes, whoa, you do find people under stone. And things like that, because people will log out underneath an area where a stone respawns and then the stone respawns over them and you don't see them. Cool little trick if you didn't know. You can also do it with thralls. They have all bug it off. I might as well get a lot of stone while I'm here. Yes, I could be going up there and using my pick and getting like 34 instead of 28 or whatever it is. But here we are. Oh, I do need more metal though. So there's a decent chunk around here. There's even um a snake that you can kill for its one demon blood. That bunny alarmed me far too much. Excuse you. Well, I'm gonna hit the rest of this metal and head back up. I keep pausing and coming back like ages later after I've built a bunch of stuff. But um, yeah, I built some stuff and my lights changed in case you noticed. I decided it's too bright. I'm about to build a squisher and I figured why not bring you all with me <laughs> considering I'm recording stuff. But the thing in the squisher, we're gaining some levels. I also built a planter and then dismantled it because you can do that now. Take those. Pickle. and then go like that and then get your stuff back which is really cool that's one of my favorite things about the update for sure let's combine those guys i need to put a few things away um oh i can already unlock teeth for whoa whoa moving on up in the world folks i kind of like lost track of when beating stuff and apparently now i'm all fancy level i've already unlocked that which is like kind of the only worthy thing right now for me rolly noises not yet not yet not yet you think with how long i've played this game i'd have this under control but here we are that'll be a while off i probably won't build a vault but we do need this guy and this guy Yeah. Guess I'll fluff around a bit more and um, unpause when stuff gets interesting again. I found a semi-boss bird. We'll see how well this goes for me. Hmm. And you, I don't have armor. And a random encumbrance build. Ooh. Oh. Okay, I've got this. Oh. Oh, I need demon blood. That would be incredibly handy. Oop. What about my shitty shield? That might have been helpful. Man. Didn't quite Dark Souls that in time. Woo. Oh, okay. It was being weird in my defense. Oh, yeah. Those guys are here to help? Is that what I'm reading? Um, someone's like looking for a tribe. I'm solo. And the other guy's like, Yo tambien. Juego solo, bro. Mi tribu. Which is me as well. Play solo. My tribe. Deserted. If occupas. If you need help, I'm here. If you like. Rough translation. My Spanish is dodgy. Let me know how correct I am. <laughs> okay. Is this worth it? Look out. 100 demon blood. That got us well on our way. Well, well on our way. Okay, this was the metal I was actually coming to get when I spied said one skull bird. I need many more medals for my benches. My benches are coming along though. 
I'll show you that all in a moment. We're almost at the end of the episode even, so we might um have a little showcase of the benches, get my metal smelting and get prepared for the next episode. I've still got a couple more filmings in me for now. I do need some stone as well. I just jumped down the cliff now. Very handy. I like having a little base thing. Feeling safe. For a few more days at least anyway. This is my bedroll. Get chest placement. I don't like the fact that I might die there. I was thinking I was going to have to grind that snake like 4,000 times. No. When possible, try to hit things that are together at the same time. The forest is good for the forest. The jungle is good for that for our trees because lots of them are like linked together like that. We have a fair few trees currently up there at the moment. It does still use durability, but it just uses less effort. So you're going to go through your durability twice as quick hitting both things. But if you hit like a big pile of stuff, you'll go through your durability really quick. If you're using oils though, that's when it starts becoming fancy because that's derived by time. And now black blood stuff is insanely easy to get. Um, I'm not even going to bother making steel things. A lot of the next episodes may going to be going to get black blood tools. But now I'm uh, going to skin this guy. The getting knife happens to be just up here. I can't remember what's here, if anything. Maybe a weapon, maybe some armor at least I can get. We'll see. But because I've got an encumbrance spec now, I can like hit all this good stuff. Oop. Need a tanner at some point. Definitely will need some armor. I'll go for a little visit down to the Keto's Palace, boundary lost place here. Maybe build a little thing near there for a thrall wheel and an outpost or a side base more like so I don't have to come here all the time because that's a little bit closer to the obelisk. Uh, providing there's even anything available over there. At the moment I am trying to get a um, fancier blacksmith bench. I have a fancier carpenter's bench but I don't particularly want to dismantle it. Although I do love that you can do that now. Did it with my squisher, my planter, whatever else. If you really want to like hermit rat hole life it, you like need to grind three things now and you just can continue building that stuff. Especially if um you happen to live in a particularly small spot or you're building the really big benches and they cost stuff that you don't have a lot of. Although hopefully that shouldn't be a problem now with the new Catan caravan dudes. A little bit of sorcery, skull buggery. Definitely not skull buggery. You know what the problem with society is these days? It's nobody drinks from the skulls of their enemies anymore. Real problem. I know, I read that meme once and I've, it's really stuck with me. Very accurate. C very accurate for Conan, not very accurate for like actual, we need to drink out of skulls of our enemies. Just thought I'd clarify that quickly. But yeah, this is my fancier bench. I thought I'd make a few um, cheaper of these guys. I might need something. Mm -mm. I don't know. I also have this, which is nice for keeping stuff cold. We kept the squisher for some blood. Oh well. Bye things. I have this thing, which we're going to hook that with. I will need some more um, coal soon. Mm, no, you come out. Need some burpees? I don't know. I need to make a fancy blacksmith bench, so this is not so expensive. I took, I made the exact right amount, which is kind of nice. Get rid of that. Uh, I don't think the fancy ones are going to fit here. We'll see. Oh yeah. Well, while I'm waiting for that to craft, that's a good note for me to leave. On the next episode, we'll be probably journeying to touch the obelisk and touch some sorcerers and see if we can't get a little weapon to help us early game. Maybe make some armor. I don't know. There's a few things. Maybe kill some monkeys for some XP, although I'm already level 48 and charging along with my full encumbrance spec after only a couple of hours. But it's been a fair few episodes for y'all because I've made them quite short, short and palatable. So they'll be mildly edited as you've seen. I'm speeding up like nonsense bits and whatever but and pausing in between like when nonsense shit's happening because y'all don't need to see that. Still star stuff's getting juicy and interesting and level 60 and I'll probably encounter humans and on the weekends there'll be raids. Yeah until then I hope you have an excellent day, evening, night, morning, whatever it may be, wherever you may be. Have a good one.